Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Brianna and today I'm going to be sharing 10 reasons why you should buy the Canon M50 mirrorless camera. So I bought the M50 more than a year ago. It's the current camera that you guys are watching me on. This is my main camera for all of my videos, vlogs, and photography. It's gotten me so far and I absolutely love this camera. I think it's great for beginners, whether you're trying to start your own YouTube channel or maybe you just wanna have better videos or photography on your vacations. Here are 10 reasons why you should buy this camera. Number one, it's affordable. Right now the M50, including the kit lens, retails for between $600 to $630. I've seen it refurbished for about $450, $500. Now yes, that is a lot of money, but if you've been looking into cameras, you know how expensive Canons and Sonys and all of these high-end cameras can get. $600 is really not a lot of money for a good quality camera. This thing in my hand right here costs $1,200 for an iPhone. Lots of you guys who have iPhones or smartphones, they probably cost a lot more than $600 and this is going to get you much better picture and video quality. So if you are looking to invest, I promise you this is not an expensive camera. There are tons of other cameras that most YouTubers use that can cost upward of $1,000, $2,000, even like $5,000 for a camera. So the N50 retailing around $600 is really not a bad price at all. Number two, this camera is small and lightweight. Now, I used to own a Canon T5i, which is a DSLR, and DSLRs used to be what everyone filmed on and shot videos on, but mirrorless cameras are the future and they are the way to go. Essentially, a mirrorless camera gives you the same video and picture quality as a DSLR, but they are a lot more lightweight, smaller, and compact. This camera, if I have a small lens on it, can fit in my purse, in my bag, and is not too much of a hassle to carry around or travel with. Number three, this camera has a flip out touchscreen. Now it's super important to be able to see yourself if you're filming yourself alone. I also just love the touchscreen to be able to take photos and not always have to put my eye in the viewfinder. Now going into number four, you can also attach microphones and you can slide them on top of the camera on the cold shoe mount or the hot shoe mount, whatever you wanna call it. And number three and four kind of go together. So there are some cameras that have a flip up screen, such as the G7X Mark II, the screen actually flips up instead of out to the side. Now, this can be a problem because whenever you are trying to attach microphones on top of your camera, if you have a camera where the screen flips up, that microphone is going to be blocking that camera and you're not going to be able to see yourself. So I have always preferred screens that flip out to the side. My only complaint is that the jack for the microphone is on the same side the screen flips out. So it it does cover up a little bit of the corner, but other than that, it's not too much of a problem, and I absolutely love the touchscreen. This is me with a microphone plugged into my camera. This is me with no microphone plugged into my camera. Number five are interchangeable lenses. Mirrorless cameras allow you the flexibility to buy different lenses and change them out depending on what kind of video or photo you're shooting and what kind of look you're going for. The lens that I film most often on is the Canon 22 millimeter lens and all these things will be linked down below. I also have a 50 millimeter lens, which usually I will use for photography or if I'm doing an up close like makeup or skincare routine. And I also have the kit lens that this camera comes with, which is a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. So being able to buy new lenses and switch them out is such an amazing thing to do. If you have a point and shoot camera like the G7X Mark II, what you have is what you get. You're not able to change lenses. I'm also looking into buying zoom lenses so that once I start going on more trips like hiking and doing more nature things, I'm able to have a really good telephoto lens. So 
interchangeable lenses is amazing and it can really change the way that your videos or photos turn out. I am going to make separate videos about lenses and aperture and focal lengths, but basically you are able to buy different lenses that have different capabilities. So for example, a 22 millimeter lens is going to be a lot more wide than a 50 millimeter lens or a 100 millimeter lens. The higher the number, the more zoomed in the lens is, and also they have different apertures. Aperture is essentially how wide that camera lens is going to open and let more sunlight in. It's also what gives you that blurry background effect. So a lower aperture is going to let more sunlight in. This can be great if you're in low light versus a higher aperture is going to have a smaller hole and let less sunlight in. Number six is the Canon Connect app. So this app does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and allow you to directly send videos and photos to your iPhone, iPad, other devices. You can also connect your camera to the Canon Connect app either from a smart device, a phone, and it allows you to control the camera from the palm of your hands. This is so useful if you are recording videos or photos by yourself. All of my videos, I always have my phone or my iPad hooked up to double check that I'm in focus. I can change my ISO and my other settings as I'm filming. Right here next to me, I have my iPad and I have my Canon, Con Canon Connect app here that I'm able to see myself and control everything I'm doing right from here. It's such an amazing tool to have if you are doing content on your own. Number seven, this camera has Canon's amazing face autofocus detection. Wherever I move in the frame, it's going to follow me around and make sure my face is in focus. Again, super useful if you are filming by yourself. I don't have someone behind the camera checking that I'm in focus while I'm filming, so it's so great to have that autofocus system because I can move anywhere. Let me even go outside of the frame. <laughs> Come back in and it's going to detect my face and get back in focus. Number eight, you can shoot in 4K video. Now, when you shoot in 4K, you do have a crop factor and you also lose that face detection capabilities. I personally only shoot in 1080p, but if you do want to shoot in 4K, that option is available. Number nine, this camera is so versatile. I use this for photography, for sit down videos, for vlogging. No matter what you're trying to do, this camera is perfect because it's great quality and super lightweight. Again, if you're vlogging, you do not want to be holding a super heavy camera walking around. At the same time, I can go outside, have a photo shoot, I can do sit down videos. I love this camera. It's my go-to camera for basically everything that I do. And number 10, this camera is super, super beginner friendly. If you have never picked up a camera before and you're kind of hesitant, I promise you that this camera is super easy for new beginners. You're able to put it in auto mode and just let the camera do all the work. Or as you learn and get more comfortable, you can dig into things like shutter speed and ISO, f-stop, and learn more about what your camera is capable of. I personally have always just shot in auto mode, but lately the last couple of months, I've really been shooting in manual and learning more about the different settings in my camera. My favorite YouTube channel is Tech Gear Talk. I'll link him down below. He has a whole playlist on M50 videos and I've learned so much from watching those. Those are my 10 reasons to buy the Canon M50. This camera is amazing. I love it so much and I'm so happy that I purchased it. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.